the interactive implant was developed as a cost-effective alternative to the Nobel Active with many design improvements. For example, the Nobel Active has a back tapered neck with micro grooves, while the interactive has a straight neck to seal the crest on insertion and adds micro threads for added stability. The Nobel Active is tapered nine degrees with cutting grooves designed to function in counterclockwise rotation to assist unscrewing of the implant when its aggressive taper results in it being wedged into dense bone. The interactive has only a two degree taper and its self-tapping grooves facilitate insertion in both dense and soft bone. This slide shows the bone loss associated with the back tapered neck of the Nobel active implant. My preference is to have a straight neck to the implant in order to seal the opening of the implant socket at the crest. This SEM of an HA coated screw plant implant shows the transition from the SBM blasted micro threads to the HA coated threads of the body. The surfaces look almost the same. This case shows an internal sinus elevation with only about four millimeters of bone below the sinus floor. Having threads engage this limited height of bone will determine whether there is adequate initial stability for the implant to osseointegrate. This is where a micro-threaded neck may be essential for implant success. Back tapering the neck, as with the Nobel Active, or minimizing bone contact with a triangular shaped neck such as the V3 implant is not beneficial. The disadvantages of a sharp apex versus a round one is the increased risk of tearing the sinus membrane if the floor of the sinus is perforated. A sharp apex can unintentionally result in changing the trajectory of the implant during insertion in soft bone from that determined by the drilling procedures. 